Hello guys, in this video, I am going to show you how you can use light LLM with AWS Bedrock and with AWS SageMaker. If you don't know what light LLM is, I have another video where I discuss in detail how to install light LLM and what exactly light LLM is and how you can use light LLM with different models. But in this video, my focus is on to show you as how you can use this light LLM with various models in AWS Petro and how you can integrate it with AWS SageMaker. Just to give you a very quick overview, light LLM is simply a way to access various models from various providers through an API call. That and it also gives you a lot of options of exception mapping, consistent output and few other things. Okay, now that's out of the way. Let me go to my code and show you how you can use light LLM with Bedrock. So this is my code on my local system, which is Windows, and I have my VS code installed, and you can see this first code. Now I don't have any GPU on my laptop, it's a simple Windows laptop where I'm running VS code. Before you run this code though, you need few few prerequisites. First, you need to have the latest version of AWS. CLI installed because if you are using AWS CLI's previous version, it is not AWS Bedrock aware. So make sure you upgrade it. Secondly, you need to have, of course, Python installed. And thirdly, you must install Light LLM. And if you don't know how to do it, as I mentioned, there is another video where which you can watch, and I will put the link in video description. Fourth and final thing you need is AWS credentials. So make sure that in the environment variable, you have set your AWS secret access key, key ID, and key region. The region should be uh, US East 1 because AWS Bedrock is not available in all of the regions. Okay, so all the prerequisites are done. Now let's have a quick look at this code. Very simple code. I'm just importing these two libraries and then I'm calling this completion function of this light LLM and I'm passing this Anthropic Cloud Instant V1 model. This is the model supported by Bedrock. And then I am passing it this simple prompt, which is what is the capital of Australia. And then it returns a response and I'm printing the content of that response in the last line. Let me run it and see how it goes. So it is running and you can see that the response is there, which is spot on. This is the model and the response is correct. The capital of Australia is Canberra. So this is only one model. Let's try it out with another model. In this code example, I have created a list of models which is currently supported by Light LLM. And these are all the models which are present in AWS Petrock service. If you don't know what AWS Petrock is, AWS Petrock is AWS managed service, which exposes a lot of models through API. And that is what we are doing with Light LLM. Because AWS Petrock is focused on few, uh, on AWS Cloud, right? But Light LLM, you can have various providers, including AWS. Okay, now this is a list of models and then I'm just iterating through this list of models. So for LLM in models and then I am passing this model as parameter to this completion function and also giving it the same prompt. The so same prompt for different models and then we are printing what is the output of that model. Let me run it. This is light LLM dash test dash bedrock and dash multiple. Let me run it and wait for it to come back. Now it is iterating through every model and should be giving me the response from every model. So it should be interesting to see same question, different model, how every model responds. Let's see. The first model is correct. Second model is correct. Third model is correct. Amazon Titan is correct. And then the Titan Express one has given us a lot of other information. Whereas um, this A121 is correct and so is the Jurassic 2 Ultra V1. So you can see that the response output, the format of output of different model is different depending upon their um, structure. That is cool. Now, as a last example, let me show you how you can do it in the SageMaker 2. This is the code for SageMaker, very simple, familiar code. First, we are importing these libraries and then we in the completion function, we are passing 
the model of SageMaker. This is the one. And then we are asking it this prompt with some of the hyperparameters. Temperature means it just determines the randomness of the response. If it is closer to one, then it is more creative. If it is closer to zero, it will be quite assertive and it will stay same. Now, in order to use this code, first thing you would need to do, you would need to create this endpoint in SageMaker. And how do you do it? You first create a domain in SageMaker and then you launch this uh, model and then create an endpoint. And I have another video which you can watch on my channel and it's pretty long where you have to create this and pretty long, long process. So, and just a side note, this is why I think that instead of using SageMaker, it is better that you use uh, either bedrock and it, because it is simple case of using bedrock you don't have to configure anything it is already there but in case of stage maker you have to con create a domain you have to do a lot of things because it's sort of a legacy uh, machine learning platform from aws which is still catching up and if you want to use uh, a model which is not present in bedrock then you can go to light lms documentation and see if the model you want is uh, provided by an, uh, any other provider okay so this is it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions or any feedback please put it in the comments and in another video i'm going to show you how you can access different models from different providers and then combine the output and see how it goes so if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, sorry one last thing i want i forgot to mention is that all of this code i will be putting it in my blog and let me show you that too so this is my blog and yes it's a shameless promotion of my blog uh, i will drop all the command which i'm using in this blog and then you can go in and simply copy paste and run it also, um, if you're interested in some other step-by-step -step commands as how to use other models, then I have been updating it quite regularly. For example, I recently did this install 7B installation, which you can check with all the commands. This, for example, this allowed DB Omni with Vertex installation. So if I um, click here, you can see that, uh, okay, you can see that I have not only pasted my video link, but also, all the commands which i have used in this um, video tutorial so you don't have to type anything you don't have to sort of remember anything all you can do is copy paste from here so this is a uh, sort of a shameless plug to my blog i hope that it is useful for you but anyway if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel as it helps thank you very much